box squat, we are taking a wider stance than with a regular squat, which allows us to focus on our adductors, our inner thighs, compared to a regular squat. So I recommend setting up seated on a stable elevated surface like a box bench or step. If you're at home and want to use a couch, you can do that. Just make sure it's not so low to the floor or so squishy that you're sinking down into it and can't stand up from a seated position. You can also place a chair up against a wall so that it's not going to move out from behind you as you perform this exercise. So once you have that surface, sit down on the edge of it. If you're too far back, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere. Separate your feet and knees wide apart with your toes pointing out at a 45 degree angle and your knees pressing out a line in the same direction as your toes. From here, engage your core, draw your shoulders down and back, rib cage down and spine in neutral and hinge at your hips leaning forward so that you can now screw your feet into the floor to stand up. Now from here, we're in a perfect position where all we need to do is sit back, tap down, and stand up. To add resistance to this, you can hold a dumbbell or kettlebell forward of your chest like a goblet. Inhale down, exhale up or you can hang here in front of you holding one or two dumbbells or kettlebells. From this side, because I know it's hard to see from this angle, if the surface was behind me, again, I'm not dragging my butt back and arching my back or flaring my rib cage. It's neutral spine, ribs down, and sit back, tap that surface, screw your feet into the floor, knees pressing out as you stand.